So Brissette, um, it's expected points uh, added. So EPA is expected points added, PFF grade. So you see the only ones that are above Jacoby Brissett right now, and this is through three weeks, Mahomes, Tua, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, and Lamar Jackson. The, the, the brown helmet is be below those, and, and actually he's a little bit further ahead in PFF grade than Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. But we'll call that, nay, that's that's pretty good neighborhood to be in uh, for a quarterback for a run-oriented team. Um, he's doing exactly what they need him to do to win football games. 100%. And I think, obviously, when you have that running game, it's going to take pressure off the quarterback. And, you know, again, ha they're, they're going to need him to make plays at certain points of the game. And for three weeks, he's been able to, to do that when his number's been called. I mean, when you have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, that play-action game's going to be working very well. He hasn't been asked to throw 50 times a game. I think if there's ever a situation where he has to throw 50 times, 50 times a game, the Browns could be in some big trouble. The good news for them is that hasn't happened. They've been able to be in control of these games by and large through, you know, the first three weeks of the season. The run game's gotten them the lead. They've been able to play from in front, which is where they need to be, where they're going to have their best chance for success. And I think the one thing I've thought about Jacoby Brissett since the Browns got him is he's a player who kind of his play is kind of somewhere equivalent to the talent he has. That the better talent he has around him, the better he can be. He's not a quarterback that's going to elevate his talent, but he's also not going to be a player who's going to sink the talent around him because he he doesn't turn the football over. He may never be a big play guy, but he's got. But you still need him to complete some intermediate throws. We saw you know the connection with him and Cooper, like I talked about earlier. He also had a he also had some big plays with David Njoku on Thursday. We saw how big Donovan Peoples Jones was in Week One. You know it's going to be important for him to kind of, to continue to do that whenever. He has to make those intermediate throws to keep making them, to keep putting pressure on the defense anytime they overload. Anytime the Browns go play action and there's a shot to be taken, he needs to be willing to take it, if nothing else, to kind of keep a defense honest so that they can't keep leaning on the run game. Because there's going to be a point where an opponent is really going to dare Jacoby Brissett to beat him, beat them. The way he's playing right now, he's certainly got the ability to do that. The question is, you know, how long can that continue? It, He's only got eight games where he really has to continue to play at a high level. He play, if he plays at that level more often than not, the Browns should be fine when they hand the keys back to Deshaun Watson.